Hi everyone, today I'm going to go over how to use the item classification editor. This tool can be found under the settings, which is the gear icon in the top left, utilities, and then item classification editor. This will allow you to mass move items, preps, or products to different groups, mass move items or products to different locations, or mass move case sizes or products to different tax groups. Once you're in this window, you can choose what you're wanting to update, whether that be groups, locations, or tax groups by hitting this drop down. Let's go into locations as an example. From here, on the left hand side, you're going to see all of your currently used locations, and if you hit the drop down, you'll be able to see what's in them. And then on the right hand side, you're going to be able to see all of your created locations that you're able to move your items or preps into. There's also a checkbox at the top that says retain previous location. If this is checked off, it will make it so the item or prep will remain in the current location as well as get added to the new location. If it is not checked off, it will just get changed to the new location. From here, we can simply drag what we want to move into its other location. Now let's say we want to move multiple locations at one time. We go into another location. We can highlight multiple items by clicking one item and then holding control as we click other items. This will allow us to move these to other locations. If we want to move an entire section of items, what we can do is we can highlight the top item and if we hold shift on our keyboard and then highlight the bottom item, it'll highlight all of them. And from there, we can drag it into another location again. Once you're done moving everything over and you want to save your changes, just click save at the top right here and it'll move everything over. Both the group and the tax group work the exact same to mass move your items, preps, or products. The only difference is that there's no retain previous location option. That's how you use the item classification editor. Thanks for watching.